Hi, welcome to this quick overview of WP Reese's database snapshots functionality. You can do a lot of things with snapshots, but today we'll show you how to determine the changes a plugin or theme has made to your site. If you haven't done so already, install WP Reset from the official WordPress repository. Once that's done, head on to Tools, WP Reset, and onto the Database Snapshots tab. The first thing you need to do is to create a new snapshot. Now, what is a snapshot? A snapshot is a copy of your current database state, securely saved in your database. We're going to call it Clean Install. It only takes a second. And now we have our current site state saved in a safe location. It says that we have 12 standard and no custom tables. Excellent. Now that we have the current state saved, we can proceed to do changes on our site. These changes can be anything. You can install a new plugin, activate a new team, make some changes to the site, change some settings. Doesn't really matter. A change is a change. What we're going to do, we're going to install a popular plugin. Let's grab this one. Okay, and head on back to WP Reset. Now we can immediately see from the currently used tables that we now have two custom tables and a few new database rows. So we're asking ourselves, well, which, what happened? What changed? Here's what changed. On the left hand side, we have the current database tables. On the right hand side, we have the snapshot we created. In our instance, it's the clean install one. So we can see that previously we did not have the links table. Now we can see its properties. And again, it was not present in our snapshot. The same thing with the second database uh, table, I'm sorry. Now we have two tables that changed, the data in them changed. And we also have about 10 tables that did not change in any way, shape or form. Now, if we head on to WP options table, we can see by each, each option what actually changed. For instance, the active plugins uh, option previously did not have the WordPress SEO string. Now it has it because the plugin is active. If we scroll down, we can see other options that were previously, for instance, yeah, not present. Like the WP SEO string now has some options previously not found in the snapshot. Excellent. So let's assume that you don't want to use this plugin. And obviously you head on to plugins and simply deactivate and delete. Now you would assume that by doing this, every change the plugin has made is now gone, reverted. Well, that's not the case because you see by our current state that we still have two custom tables and 173 rows compared to 165 we had before. So we are not actually back to our previous state despite removing the plugin. What we need to do to get back to the original state is to restore the snapshot. What this will do is delete the current database tables and replace them with the tables from the snapshot. And now we are back to 12 standard tables and no custom ones totaling 168 rows. If you have any questions or feature ideas, be sure to get in touch. Thank you.